Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make Instant Pot Monkey Bread. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson and I own the blog 365 Days of Slow and Pressure Cooking. Here on YouTube, I share Instant Pot stuff with you every week. Today is gonna to be a little bit different. I am part of a virtual Instant Pot holiday potluck. And for my part of the potluck, I am bringing the dessert. Make sure to follow along with the other YouTubers that are participating in this virtual potluck and put a whole holiday meal together using your Instant Pots. Monkey bread is a delicious dessert that's made out of can of biscuits and just a couple of other ingredients. It's super yummy and did you know that you can actually make it in your Instant Pot? So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. First thing that we're gonna do is take a half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon and put it together in a bowl. Just stir that together nicely. Then pop open a can of biscuits. This is Grand's Southern Home Style Butter Tasting Biscuits by, by Pillsbury. And it is 16.3 ounces. So I know there are some cans of biscuits that are just tiny little ones. Get the big um, can for this particular recipe. My favorite part. And we're gonna take each um, biscuit and use kitchen shears or a knife and you're going to cut each piece, each, you're gonna cut each biscuit into four pieces. And then you're gonna pop it into this bowl of cinnamon sugar and just turn the biscuit pieces over in the cinnamon and sugar and coat them really well with that cinnamon and sugar. We're gonna be using a six cup um, bundt cake pan, also known as a half, um, like a half size bundt, bundt cake pan. I will link to my particular one that I use. Um, it's just from Amazon and I'll link to it in the notes below. And then layer each of these biscuit pieces that have been coated in the cinnamon and sugar into the pan. This is what it will look like when it's all coated in the sugar. You also have some of the sugar and cinnamon left. Just don't worry about it. You can just toss that aside. Next, stir in a quarter cup of melted butter into half a cup of um, brown sugar. Pour it over evenly, um, the top of this monkey bread. I'm gonna use um, just a little bit of foil to cover the bundt cake pan. And I like to cover it loosely so that it can kind of expand. Pour one and a half cups of water into your Instant Pot. And then I like to use this sling um, for pot and pot um, recipes like this one because it's just so easy to get things in and out of the Instant Pot. If you don't have a sling, use a trivet and just do your best to lower it onto the trivet evenly. Um, I'm gonna just lower this into the pot, covering the pot, making sure that the valve is set to sealing and not to venting. And then I'm gonna use the manual manual button, which is also on some models, it's the pressure cook button. So just manual and I'm setting it for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is up, let the pot sit for an additional 10 minutes and then release any remaining pressure. Remove the lid. And it's hot, so I'll just use some hot pads. Lift it out. You can kind of remove the foil. When baking in the Instant Pot, it's not gonna look quote unquote done because uh, it's steamed, it's not baked. And so it doesn't look brown on top like it would in the oven, um, but it is cooked through. It's more like a steamed dumpling kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is take a plate and place it on top of the pan and then invert the pan onto the plate. We have a gooey, <laughs> delicious monkey bread that probably cool just for a couple minutes and then let people just pick pieces off and toss them into their mouth. It is truly delicious. If you'd like, you can also add like pecans or chopped walnuts to this. I didn't have anything like that on hand, so I didn't today, but sometimes I do and it is really yummy. Make sure to go and visit all the other YouTubers that are sharing their 
virtual potluck dish with you today. I'm going to be linking to them um, in the notes below. You, you can find those notes by just clicking on the title of this video and it will pop open all my notes, all the links, and all the things that you need. Thanks for joining me this week. I hope you have a wonderful holiday and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.